G'day. Today we're doing a service and a repair on a VX Commodore 2001 model, V6. And the customer is complaining uh, of a fault where occasionally when they take off, um, it's going into neutral. It's like it's neutralising or no power when it takes off. After a short after they rev it a bit, it'll engage and take off. It's only done 110,000 kilometres, so we're going to take the pan off and just have a look, see what we can find. Okay, before we do any work, we'll just do a quick scan of it. Two thousand and one VX Commodore transmission and there's no fault codes. Okay, so we're all clear on there, so gotta do some further investigating. Now we've got the pan off. I've just pop the filter off you can see it there that just comes out easily and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this manifold switch plate and just see if there's any rubbish in there it might be shorting out occasionally in there the little switches are supposed to sense what what gear you're in and then send messages or pulses or um, power to the solenoids. You've got your shift solenoids at the back here and you've got your PWM and your 3-2 solenoid and you've also under here you've got your torque converter clutch solenoid. Over on the side here is your pressure control solenoid. So anyway We'll just pop that off and then have a look how much rubbish is in there. The magnet has got a little bit of fine metal on it, you can see. That's all fine metal. It's not too bad. Now we've got that uh, plate off. And quite often i found that these don't register a fault code. When they're shorting out or contaminated, and they've just got little pressure switches in there. And you can see how much fine metal's in there, so we're just going to flush that out. Um, if it was doing it all the time, we'd probably replace this. That would mean that the metal, is, the fine metal, has gone underneath. It's very hard to uh, flush them out. But uh, if if it does clean up all right, we'll just put this one back together and. Uh, or wash, flush it and put it back in the vehicle. It was just having an intermittent problem, so I'm suspecting this is the problem. And you can see that's already flushed it all out. I'm just going to hit it with some clean solvent there. Well, the clean stuff. This is just through our parts washer. Still a little bit in there. But it looks like it's going to clean out all right. That 
one's come up like like a new one. Let's see, the switches are all nice and clean there. Now here I've got an old um, manifold switch plate. You can see what they actually do. Um, the, the little pressure switches are there. And on the other side you can actually see the little plates. Now these ones are usually off. You can see how the, the little um, disc in there is concaved that way. And on these ones, it's concave the other way. So what ac actually happens is um, these ones are normally off. And then when the pressure comes on, they're on. And these are normally on. And when the pressure comes in there, they turn off. So you can see on this one, um, it actually tells you which switch is in which gear you got d4 or drive 4 low d3 d2 and reverse so you can actually test these on on the older style ones that um, you can uh, test it with an ohm meter and just see if there's continuity and also when you press the switch that there is um, it, it is working and not having like a slight um, resistance there. If it has, it just means there's fine metal in there and it's shorting it out somewhere. Okay, we've got it back on. Don't forget to put the clip back on. Okay, I've just straightened out those couple of little dents on the pan as well while we've got it out. And instead of putting the magnet back over here, I'm going to put it just up on that little ridge there. And the reason why I do that is just so that magnet can work underneath as well as on top. There will be more surface area of that magnet working. And we're going to put about four litres of the Tritec Dextron 3 fluid in it. Okay, just back from a test run. Um, I've thoroughly uh, tested it trying to get that uh, neutralising happening. Uh, just cleaning up that pressure switch plate seems to have done the trick. Anyway, uh, Always a good idea to clean that switch plate if you're doing a service on a 4L60E. And uh, don't forget to check the oil level with the motor running and at operating temperature. Thank you for watching.